Hello and welcome guys. So in last video we have successfully imported our data set. So if you are new to this video then I recommend you to watch this playlist from beginning. Okay. So let's import our data set. So from here let's go here and mount drive. Okay. When you mount drive then you have to uh, this pop up window will appear and you, let's connect to Google Drive as I already explained you in last videos. Okay. And it's showing that it's mounting Google Drive. Okay, if you want to write a code to mount for Google Drive, then you can just write here from google.colab. From google.colab, you have to import. From google.colab, you have to import drive. Okay, you have to write a function drive.mount and you have to pass it as parameter the path of this one okay so let's pass here content slash drive okay this is a path before that you have to give a forward slash okay this is a path content slash drive this is a path when you run this code then it will show a permit this notebook to access your google drive and you have to connect with your Google account. This is my Google account. So connect with this and give access. And it's connecting. Drive already mounted. And now here you will see the folder drive. In this folder you have my drive and in my drive you have all the data which which is in your Google Drive. Okay. So here we have this fruit vegetable recognition folder and this is train test and validation folder okay so this we need okay that's why we have done this now what we have to do now let's import some libraries so right here importing libraries okay now let's import libraries so right here first of all I need numpy import numpy as np and second i need tensorflow import tensorflow as tf okay and third for data visualization i need import matplotlib import matplotlib.pyplot as plt import matplotlib.pyplot as plt run this So we have successfully imported our libraries. Let's comment out here by data pre-processing. Okay. Now let's begin with data pre-processing. Okay. So for data pre-processing, we need train data and validation data. Now let us understand what is the difference between validation data and test data. So validation data is used for model training and test data is used for model testing. This is the difference between validation data and test data. For model training, we need training set and validation data set. And for model testing, when our model is trained and we need to see whether our model is working right, we want to uh, do some prediction, then we use test data. So if you go here, and you and you search difference between validation difference between validation validation and test data set and you will see here the validation data set is predominantly used to describe the evaluation of model when tuning hyperparameter and data preparation and test data set is predominantly used to describe the evaluation of final tuned model. So at the time of tuning of our model, we need validation data along with train data to tune our model to train our model. And when our model is ready for doing prediction, then we need test data to evaluate our model performance. Okay. So this is the difference between validation data and test data. Now we are ready to 
do a training data pre-processing let's create here one text and comment here training image pre-processing training image pre-processing okay training image pre-processing so now let's define one variable training set training set okay and in training set we have to create one class which is uh, tf dot keras tf is tensorflow from tensorflow i am importing keras and in keras i am going in utils and in utils i am going in image data set from directory this is our class image data set from directory this is a class inside tensorflow and inside keras okay so in this i am going to pass a lot of things first is a path of training set okay so here i need a path of training set so this is our training set so let's copy the path from here copy path and just paste here okay so this is our training set path okay now second one is labels we have to define this is a parameter of this class so we have to define label as inferred so let's define here label as inferred i n f e double r e d okay this is inferred label okay i will explain what is the meaning of these things okay so second parameter is label mode okay we have defined levels as inferred and now we need level mode okay so level mode i need categorical categorical okay and third one is class names class names which i am going to pass here none i don't need any class okay and we need color mode okay so color is i am taking rgb okay so all the images have rgb color and i need batch size so batch size is 32 okay and i also need image size in which size i want to train my image so i am going to put here image as 64 cross 64 okay this is my image size okay so image size done shuffle shuffle i want to put here true okay shuffle is true what is the value of seed seed is none and validation split validation split equal to none validation split is also none subset is also none okay subset is also none interpolation this is a good thing interpolation i am going to put here bilinear bilinear okay interpolation done and this is follow link follow links follow links i am going to put here false and this is crop to aspect ratio crop to underscore aspect ratio this i am going to put here false okay so these things we have to put uh, these parameter we need in this project okay if you are thinking that how we learn these things that uh, whether we have to learn that uh, which value we have to take and which value we don't have to take and what is the value of levels how we decide what is the value of level mode so if you want to understand these things then please go here let's go to keras.io okay uh, let's open here keras i will explain you how to uh, get right thing for your model here we have or sequential class sequential model we have we have layers we have convolution layers so you will learn everything from here if you go here and see each and everything these things 
how we build our network these things you can learn from here so we have to go here in data loading okay let's focus here so in data loading let's go in image data loading because we are dealing with image data set okay so here you get that that things image data set from directory okay so this is this is that one if you go here this is a utils dot image image data set from directory this is the same thing tfkeras dot utils image data set from directory and this is a complete parameter okay if you go here and copy these things okay let's copy this thing i will explain you how we have done these things paste here okay so this is a complete things let's remove this quarks here this is no use okay and in directory this is our directory okay so this is our directory this is inferred labels is inferred and this is label mode is int here okay this is thing which we have copied so here we have to modify each and every things according to it okay let's go here okay and understand what is the meaning of these things let's go to source okay so this is that one you have to understand these things now let us understand each and everything okay so here we need levels okay so let us understand what is the level so let's go here here you will see levels either inferred or none okay no levels inferred means levels are generated from the directory structure okay so this means that levels are generated from directory structure here we have levels if you go inside this then we have apple banana each these are the labels okay these are the levels of training data set okay so here we have to put the level value as inferred because if there is no level if there is some random image then we don't need levels okay so here we need levels that's why we have put it here uh, inferred level value as inferred okay so this is the meaning of levels just first step is just go there and copy these things this is that one this is a complete things which we which i have modified okay so let's remove these things i've just explained you if you if you have to put these things then let's go in keras here keras data loading part and copy this thing okay copy this thing from here and go here and remove these things and just paste these things okay okay just do these things okay and in place of directory you have to put this one this train copy path and put here double quote and write this thing okay so this is done so you have modified this okay so now you need the value of level so here as we understand that we have to put levels as inferred because we have a level in the form of directories here here these directories are levels of the training set okay so we have to put here levels as inferred now what is the value of level mode okay this we have to understand what is the value of level mode so in level mode let's go here and understand what is level mode can be integer categorical binary none okay so none means no level if we have no levels then we put level mode as none okay but we have levels okay so we will not put here none what is the meaning of binary binary means that levels there can be only two levels are encoded there can be only two are encoded as float 32 scalar with value 0 or 1 okay so if we have only two types of level like we have uh, the image of cat or dog okay only two types of um, levels if we have then we put here binary okay then we put here binary level mode as binary but we have more than two classes okay we have more than two classes of training set here we have 36 classes so we have to put here 
level mode as categorical means that levels are encoded as categorical vector these levels are categorical vector okay we, this model this thing will put if we put here level mode as categorical then it will put everything in the form of vector okay so that's why we have uh, modified the value of level mode as categorical okay and what is the value of class name so class name doesn't matter okay only valid if level is inferred okay this is explicitly list of class names used to control the order of classes but here we don't need any order because everything is arranged in same manner okay here also we have banana beetroot everything like this and here also we have same uh, order of classes okay so here we don't need to modify this class name okay and color color mode is also we are putting here rgb there is no use of doing further pre-processing okay and batch size same we are going to put batch size is 32 okay so there is no use and what is this image size so image size i am going to modify here because i am going to put here image size as 64 cross 64 i am going to train my model on 64 cross 64 okay that's why i am going to modify this because if we increase the image size then we have to take a lot of details in that image but we are only focusing on important part of the image okay not we are going to take a lot of details in that image okay that's why i am going to take the standard size as 64 cross 64 okay and shuffle i am going to put here true seed value is none there is no use validation split is also none subset is also none interpolation is bilinear these things are constant if you want to understand what is the meaning of shuffle then you if you go here whether to shuffle the data default is true okay if we want to shuffle the data let's sort the data in alphanumeric order then we set it false and if we don't want to sort the data then we put it true okay that's the meaning of this shuffle and what is the meaning of seed this is optional random seed for shuffling and transformation if we are going to do a further data pre-processing like we are going to transform we are going to rotate these things rotate the images and study a lot of uh, detail part of that image then we are going to put here seed value okay and what is the meaning of this validation split validation split is also optional float between optional float between 0 and 1 fraction of data to reserve for validation okay and this is interpolation interpolation string the interpolation method used when resizing the image so default to bilinear support bilinear nearest by cubic these things these parameter it, it takes so here i am putting this to bilinear because um, it is it is just used to resize the image so that's why i am putting here bilinear okay and this is follow link so follow link whether to visit subdirectory pointed to by sim link these things and crop to aspect ratio this is also another part of resizing the image okay so these thing we don't need okay we need just these three these two three things we have to modify and this thing is as usual okay we are just focusing on these things right now okay so this is done we have completed this uh, training set okay so this training set variable it will go in this directory this train directory and it will modify everything and store the result in this training set variable okay so let's run this so here it's showing that found 3145 files belonging to 36 classes so now this complete thing has successfully identified that we have 36 classes of fruits and vegetable and it has uh, it have 3145 files in it okay so training image processing is done now let's go for validation image processing okay we are going to take a validation not test test image okay because test image is used for model evaluation okay so let's write here validation image pre-processing 
validation image processing so here also we need same thing let's go here and just copy this thing okay copy this thing and come here and define one variable validation set validation set and just paste here like this tf dot keras dot this thing okay just go directly here in image data loading part in keras just go to data loading in keras api go to get data loading and in data loading go to image data loading because here we are dealing with image data so i am going to image data loading and just copy this code and paste here okay and uh, just copy the path from here copy path just remove this make it in double quote and just paste here okay so we got our test set path no not test set path okay here we need validation okay here we need validation set part okay so this is our validation set part we need validation set not test set because test set is for evaluation purpose okay and for model training purpose we need this validation directory part okay so here we got this thing and here also same we have to do levels is inferred but level mode we have to put here categorical okay level mode is categorical class is none this is rgb best size 32 perfect and this is 64 cross 64 okay same parameter you have to pass which you have passed here okay so this is 64 cross 64 shuffle true right see none and this thing is same okay there is no change and remove this quarks and this co comma also okay if you run this then it's showing that found 351 files belonging to 36 classes so validation set also has 36 classes having 351 files okay so our training image pre-processing and validation image pre-processing is done now we are ready for building our model okay so what we have done so far so we have imported all the required libraries here so we have imported numpy tensorflow matplotlib and here we have done training image pre-processing in which we have created one class from here just go here if you are confused what parameter we have to choose then let's go here and copy this code from here and paste here and modify these parameters as i have explained that levels is inferred because here we have levels here we have 36 levels okay 36 classes in which each classes is uh, here each class is having a directory okay these directories are the classes of this data set okay that's why we have put it here inferred levels as inferred and level mode is categorical because here we have more than two classes okay here we have 36 classes so we have to put here level mode as categorical class name is none and color mode i am putting here rgb best size 32 image i am image size i am modifying to 64 cross 64 because i am just focusing on important feature of that image not i am going to take a lot of details in that image because if you go, if you increase the size of image then in model training it will take a lot of time that's why i am putting here 64 cross 64 to focus only on important feature and shuffle is true and this is all the image transformation part which i am putting default as provided by keras api okay so i am not modifying these things if you want to learn more about these things then just go here on source and from here you can learn which parameter which value you can put here you can learn this thing from here and put there okay you can put from uh, modify from here okay according to your need okay in this project we need these things that's why i'm modifying these things okay according to your data set you can modify these things by referring from here okay so training set we have successfully stored all the contents which we get from this directory by modifying these parameter everything is stored in tra training set variable tensorflow has successfully identified that it has 3145 files and belonging to 36 classes 
similarly here we have also done for validation data set okay in validation data set we got 351 files in which all the files belonging to 36 classes in validation set we have we also have a 36 classes okay so training image pre-processing and validation image pre-processing is completed now we are ready for model building okay so that's all for this video in next video we will move forward for model building phase okay so thank you guys thanks a lot for watching this video